Hello, I'm Brenda Antrim, one of the reference librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a literature search in a database specific to that topic. So how would you do that? Starting from the Santa Monica College uh, homepage, if you mouse over student services, you'll find the library between health and the police. Click on that and you'll see a variety of options. Now, I know that I need to get a literary analysis or an author biography, so I won't necessarily start here because this will give you a little bit of everything. Instead, I want to go to a literature database. Now, before I leave this page, I want to point out one other thing. The Ask a Librarian button is 24-7 research chat assistance. We are part of an international consortium of librarians, so at any time when you use this button, you will get hold of a college or university librarian who can assist you with your research. So heading back into the databases, at this point you have more options. All databases is a list of all of the databases we currently subscribe to with a short description of what is in each database. They're listed alphabetically by title. Below that is a link to databases that include ebooks in case your instructor has required those. Below that, they're listed by discipline, art and architecture, business, health, literature, social issues, science, since we're looking for literature, we're going to click on that page. This includes only the databases that are specific to that discipline. Up at the top will be those databases that are about poetry and um, plays and prose and literature, criticism and reviews. Below that will be databases that are broader than that, but also include good information. So for example, if I needed a scholarly journal article, I could go to JSTOR. It includes literature. If I needed to find author information, I could go to Current Biography. It includes authors. But today I'm going to show you specifically the Literary Sources database. Now when you go to this database, you have some options. You could do a basic search. You could do an advanced search, which allows you to give both um, the name of a work and a person that the work is by or about. You could do a search on an individual person or on a specific work. So say I need to do a paper on Maxine Hong Kingston. I can either do it here, and this will give me specifically biographies with some critical analyses, but mainly biographies, or I could do a basic search. So I'm going to try the person search. And when I type in her name, and spell it right. It also gives me more options. So if I don't have a particular author, I can look for female authors who um, are writing in neo-Gothic prose or poetry about racism, who were born in the United States in the 19th century. So you can get pretty specific in this. But I'm going to start off with my author. And it gives me two options. Now this is what's known as a see also reference, which means that this is another name that she is known by, but that is not the standardized name that is used in this database. So it gives you a C, go to that link and click that one, because that's the live link that will include the information. Once you do that up at the top, it will break it out for you. It will say there are 135 essays, including articles from peer-reviewed journals, about her works. There are 16 biographies of the author. There are six topic or work overviews where a critical um, writer has written about that. Reviews and news are specific. Um, a book review, a poetry review, a news about the author primary sources and literary works, so you actually have um, some of the primary sources available to you, and video clips or podcasts. So 135 is an awful lot to start with, and I know I'm really interested in this particular person. So I could, if I wanted to, scroll through and take a look and see how it's listed. Or I could say, I need to find out information about this person and click on her biographies link. When I do that, it will show 
what is written. In this case, it is um, a biography in contemporary literary criticism. This is a biography specifically about feminist writers. This is a biography talking about Buddhist American literature. This is um, dictionary or encyclopedic information. Um, this is specifically talking about Asian American writers. So as you go through, these various ones will often have a specific lens through which they're looking at this person. Okay. So if I um, inter am interested in Maxine Hong Kingston, because she wrote um, in the mid-70s a groundbreaking work about growing up Chinese American in California, I might be very interested in this interview to see what she has to say about it. Or I might be interested in a broader view, um, critical analysis of her work overall. So if I click on one of these that looks interesting, I get information about what this particular entry is in, who wrote it, what their credentials or affiliations are, who published it, the actual book it is, what it is, and how long it is. It will tell me a bit about her, some of her works, and an essay that talks about her in some depth. This goes on for a relatively long period. So I'm going to scroll through it because it's very, very long, as you can see. And at the bottom, it gives you further readings that you can also look up. Interviews, references about her work, and related information that you can click through in the same database. At the very bottom, it gives you an option um, to do a citation, and this is an MLA 8th edition, which is the most current edition. Please fix this before you put it in your paper. This is a robot's attempt at a citation, and while some of them can be quite good, um, some of them miss things. But for example, just looking at it right away, I can tell that the font and the spacing are incorrect. So you'll want to check it based on the template that your teacher has given you for your work cited. Heading back up to the top, through this very long essay, it will tell you what is actually in the article. These are various works that she has done. Okay. And it will give you related subjects. Okay. When you click on these, this will research that database for that topic. Now, if I decide I like this, I can send it to myself. This requires your laptop or device to have an installed email program that it will automatically launch. If you're on a public computer or someone else's computer, this may not be applicable to you. So you can also download it okay, um, and then save it to the cloud, save it to your Google account, etc. Okay. So if I decide I want to download it, I can just click it. I can get a link to it and come back to it later. I can send it and I can cite it. If I need more articles on this person, I don't use my back arrow. I click on results to get back to where I was. And then maybe I want to take a look at literary criticism for this person. Now I can, if I'd like, filter the results by subjects, by the name of the work, by items by the author, by the document type, etc. So if I want to filter my results by subject, it will list the various subject headings that are assigned to this 135 articles. And if what I'm really interested in, for example, is feminism, I can click on that topic and it will narrow down this literary criticism from 135 to 11, still on the same author. So this might be a very useful essay for me if I'm looking at feminism in the works of this particular um, author, which would make sense given what she writes. <laughs> if you have any questions, on the library homepage, ask a librarian. Good luck with your research and be well.